Hello, today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Excel. We're just going to get a brief introduction to Microsoft Excel. So you notice that the general interface, we have the ribbon uh, interface here on this version uh, with tabs along the top. Um, so let's just dive in a little bit and just make, let's just make a simple uh, spreadsheet. Uh, okay, so, our, so this is what we call tabular data, right? Because they're in columns and rows. Okay, so let's say we have name, Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and enter in a couple of students here. Okay, so we have Jose and Mary. So in math, uh, Jose got an A and Mary got a C. In math, Jose got a B and Mary got a B. And in science, Jose got a C and Mary got a C. Okay, so uh, if we take this example, so we have uh, uh, our top row here are the headers for our column okay so they're like they're the titles for our column they're what data is in here and imagine we could have as many students as we wanted in here okay so you can tell I clicked on each row uh, if I was typing in here and I hit enter I actually go down so that's a quick way to enter data if you're entering in data notice I, I hit enter there okay if I entered a three and then went hit the right uh, arrow button I would go over Okay, so let's say that we have another student there with grades. Okay, so um, so let's say that we have this uh, this data, you know, this beginning of the spreadsheet, and we're going to calculate a grade point average uh, using Excel. Excel is a very deep program, so you know we can only scratch the surface in a short introductory video. So notice that I can just as I do in Word, I can change the font, I can change the uh, you know different aspects of the font. I can make the font a different color. I can fill in the um, I can fill in the cells with a particular color. Say I want my header to be one color and I want my font to be a different color. Okay, so I can do all of those things. I can also take a uh, area. I can format those cells uh, cell styles so I can actually make this particular uh, these particular cells a cell style. Um, Okay, so that's another one here on the home t home uh, ribbon. Okay, um, the other thing that I can do here, notice that uh, I have some things like in editing. I have some. You'll notice as I go through the rest of the ribbons, there are some common things here on the home tab that are in other places too. So um, one thing is that we can insert a picture, a table, clip art, smart shapes. We can insert. Um, uh, we can insert, insert a column chart, okay, we can insert all kinds of charts, that would be a whole different thing, so we can actually take this data and we can insert a, uh, a chart or a pie chart, okay. Uh, so there are all sorts of different things that we can do. Um, okay, so on page layout, we can do the standard layout so we can adjust the margins, the orientation, which is portrait landscape, the size, the print area. Okay, this is actually a really useful one. So, so when we say print area, what we're talking about is if we were to print this sheet, it might print out, you know, in very oddly. Okay, so if you notice when I click on print area, okay, uh, I can actually highlight. Okay, so I can actually highlight the cells that I want and I can set the print area. Okay, so you'll notice that now if you look at this uh, this dotted line, that's my print area, so that's where it's actually going to print to. Okay, Oop. okay so um, clear print area now. Okay, so we're gonna go on and we're gonna go to formulas. Um, formulas are a really useful uh, thing in, um, in um, Excel. Um, so one of the most commonly used is if I wanted to sum, so I wanted to add everything in a column, I would click auto sum. Okay, and that means that whatever I click in, notice that I can sum a particular area. So I can actually move this around, and you notice the blue, uh, 
the blue numbers here where it says D2 to D4, that, that refers to this cell, which is con column D row 2 to column D row 4. When I hit enter, it goes ahead and it does the math for me. Okay, so notice 2 plus 1 is 5. Okay, now to erase this, I can go back in and click delete. Okay, so let's say that we want to calculate the, uh, the grade point average for each one of these students. Okay, an easy thing for me to do under this auto sum button Okay, which is also in the home. Okay, you see this auto sum right here, right? Okay, so we can also go to the home tab. Okay, and we all can also auto sum, auto average, max, min. Okay, the max would be the maximum number in that row. Okay, so we can click average. Notice that it predicts. So basically, it notices, it looks at the cells around it. It predicts which cells I want to use. If I wanted to increase the cells more, say I want not just this row, but I want the average, the entire average, I could also do that. Okay. Uh, so here we have it, the average of B2 to D4. Okay, but we don't want that, right? Okay, so uh, it glitched a little bit there. So we want the... Uh, average and we want just uh, from D B2 to D2 okay oops and I did it again the problem here is if I click into other cells it's gonna give me uh, it's gonna change this cell range so if I hit enter that gives me what I wanted I wanted the average of B2 C2 and D2 and that's given by the range B2 to D2 now uh, the next thing that we can do in Excel is we can actually repeat this data. Okay, so that's a really powerful part of Excel. So watch what happens if I highlight. I've got this uh, auto average here on the ends cell. I can pull down the corner of this cell and watch what it does. Okay, it repeats this average, but notice what it does. It increments this formula, right? So now the average is B3 to D3 and now the average is B4 to D4. So it's very easy, Excel, the, the purpose of a spreadsheet is to make it very easy to interact with this type of tabular data where you have data in, in columns and rows. Okay, so let's say that I wanted a list and we're on the data tab here. So, um, sorry, we're on the formula tab. So that's a, that's a way that we've added in formulas. It's very deep, you can make very complicated formulas. So uh, we can go onto the data tab Okay, now commonly in data, the very first thing you'll want to learn how to do is how to sort. Okay, so we can take this whole area and say that we want to sort first on grade point, then on math, then on science, then on English. Okay, so we could do that. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on sort. Okay, and we get this kind of sort dialog that comes up. So we say we want to sort on grade point values, and we want the top the large to the top, largest to smallest. We add a level. Then we want to sort on math values, largest to smallest. Then we want to sort on science values, largest to smallest. And we could go on and on. Okay, so there we have it. We click OK. And notice that it automatically recognized that this was my heading row. And it sorted on grade point, then on math, then on science. Oh, interesting. And notice that we had a tie here, didn't we? Okay, with our math and science, Jose and Mary had the same math and science grade. So, so in the end, they were, but they were already sorted based upon grade point. Okay, so data is very deep. We could go, you could have an entire course on, on Excel. So we're just, uh, we're just kind of scratching the surface here. Um, okay, so we go to review. Um, you can do things like protect or share your workbooks, view, add-ins, and then Acrobat um, is a tab that, basically makes PDFs. Um, okay, so let's go back to the home tab. Okay, remember this is where we formatted things. It also has some of the most common things. So the sort, auto sum, find and select, uh, those are all on the home tab. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the sheets. So we're basically on sheet one. So when we opened up Excel, we're on sheet one. Okay, there's also sheet two, sheet three. Okay, and you can actually have different data on different sheets, and you can reference that data as well. So let's say that I wanted to, well, we won't go into that now, but if we wanted, you can, just in the same way we use formulas to reference cells, we can reference cells on different sheets. We can create new sheets, and by right-clicking on them, we can say, say we want to rename this, we can right-click on the, on the sheet tab there and call this grade point. Okay. 
All right, we can also delete other sheets, so we can right-click and delete. Right-click and we can delete again. Right-click and delete. Okay, so uh, there we have it. Now the last thing we're going to look at is just the save and print function. So the save functions are just the same as in Word or any other um, Microsoft product. The print is a little bit different. So if we go ahead and click print, there is a setting here where we can print either the active sheet, we can print the entire workbook, or we can print the selected area, okay, or we can ignore print area, okay, that we've set earlier. So let's say that I go here, this is the quickest way to choose a print area. So if I just select the cells that I want, I click print, I print print selection, okay, uh, and that's going to give me just the cells that I wanted to print. Okay, so this is, that was an introduction to Excel. Uh, it's a great program. Uh, you'll find it very useful. Thank you.